Are those shoes in your fridge? Or are you just happy to see me? Hello everybody, welcome to Breaker and Make. I'm your host, Joan. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm gonna show you how to stretch your leather shoes at home using a simple method. The simple method is your freezer. And then I'm gonna show you a few ideas for painting shoes. I'm going to do one solid color and then I'm gonna do one with a pattern. First, let's take these shoes and get them in the freezer so they can start stretching. What you're gonna to wanna to do is grab some used baggies and you wanna fill these up with water. I like to use four baggies, one to hold the water, one to hold the water bag. I like a double bag situation. You don't need to fill this bag too full. You just want it enough to fill the little toe bed where you're sticking your water bag. So I put like one cup in this bag. I'm gonna seal it up. Now I'm sticking my bag of water inside of another bag just so I don't get any leakage or any weird things happening. It's all double sealed. Now I'm gonna shove it in my shoe. We're good. I'm gonna do the other shoe and then I'm gonna stick them in the freezer for 24 hours. As the water freezes, it's going to expand and give me more room in this little toe box area. This is great because I can get about one to one and a half um, sizes bigger um, um, just by using the water trick. I pulled my shoes out of the freezer. So I'm gonna pull out the ice and let them come to room temperature before I start painting them. They're still a little dewy. We're gonna go ahead and paint these while the other shoes are coming to room temperature. These shoes were pink when I got them, but now it's just kind of a sad gray. Um, I'd ultimately like them to coordinate with this dress. I'm just gonna pull the laces out and then give it a rub down with some rubbing alcohol and then we'll be able to paint. I also taped the edge of these just so if I splash some paint on the sides, it wouldn't get on the sides. It won't hurt anything, but it just looks a little um, informal. If you really wanted to get obsessive, you could like take the whole bottom too, but I feel like I'll be able to control my paint okay. <laughs> when starting to paint, start at the back. That way you, if you don't like the color, you can change it like right away. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I'm just using acrylic paint. You can use paint that's specifically for leather, but I find that um, acrylic paint works just fine. Any paint you use will dry darker. So just keep that in mind as you mix your paint that it is going to dry like one to two shades darker. Fabric paint and leather paint, they have a few more elastomers in them, which means that it makes it super flexible. So as I bend my foot, there is a chance that I may crack my paint, but that's okay. If you're worried about it, just use either fabric paint or leather paint. These are done. I'm just gonna set them aside to dry and then we can start working on our other pair. I rubbed these down with alcohol so they're ready to paint on and I'm going to use the tutorial from Sea Lemon. Hi Jennifer and I'm going to draw some lace here just like freehand. Um, it should be pretty cool hopefully. We'll see how my drawing skills are. There, I'm done painting it. Let me know how you think it looks. I'm a little on the fence with how they turned out, but maybe I need to wear them a few times to like really feel them out. Let me know in the comments if you liked how they turned out. Um, I would do these a little differently next time. I would do the lacy kind of swirly thingy that I did for this first and then put my flowers over the top of it. That way when I, smudged it with my finger to kind of pick up the paint, it wouldn't um, smear my flowers. Two ideas for painting your shoes and an easy way to stretch them in your own freezer. I don't know, I'm still on the fence about this. I wanna like it a lot or I don't like it. I don't know, I'll have to wear, see what other people say. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more eco-friendly DIYs. We'll see you next time, bye. In here painting doodly doodly do. Oh, wait, we're still recording. Oh.